This time on Tornado Titans. That's because it's looking more and more tornadic to be sure. Being lots of signs of it. Well, greetings from Tucumcari, New Mexico. Right up here. Got a rocket of a storm up there going. I've got several actually taking shape right here, all in a small area. These storms are all going to combine right here into one big supercell, I think. It's gonna take a bit. You're gonna have a lot of storm mergers. It's gonna be kind of like last night, or last week how that happened near Amarillo. There's a lot of little storms. It took a while, but they formed into one big supercell. I think that's exactly what's gonna happen here. Look at that. Oh man, look at those knuckles up there on top. So this is gonna be a pretty uh, interesting day. We're definitely getting a supercell today. Tornado threat will go up in the next hour or two. It's gonna be with this. So we'll see what happens. The atmosphere is in a foul mood today. There is very high to extreme instability in place all across eastern New Mexico. The wind shear today is moderate, but it's going to become strong in the evening. The team's plan today is to be on the dominant supercell as the day progresses in their target region from Tucumcari to Clayton. A powerful supercell with possible tornadoes seems likely. You know, this is the best, worst part of storm chasing. It's setting on top of a hill, looking at a developing storm, knowing that all the potential in the world of the day is you're just looking at it out there, but also it's that impatience because you know this might take a while. This might be another hour or so. You know, you've done everything right. You're in the right spot. It's all there, but it still might take a bit. Uh, so that's that's always difficult. Uh, we're sitting here outside of Tucumcari, New Mexico, looking at storms forming along and north of town. And uh, we're just going to stay here and watch these. Uh, eventually, we're going to get an updraft base that's dominant takeover, and it's going to be time. Uh, but it's just going to take a bit, so. The Titans note that the storm on the west end of a collection of updrafts is beginning to take over. This might be the birth of the dominant supercell the team has been waiting for. Well, that moment we talked about where all these storms start really combining, you get a dominant supercell seems to have happened. Uh, look at this, you got some air coming in from the front flank being sucked up into this big massive lowering. Uh, it's shelfy in nature, but it's also not. Uh, that, that is the staple of uh, some pretty big mean supercells I've seen. You can see it though here, look at this. You can see just the updraft, lots of spin. There's gonna be a tornado, it's gonna be back in that muck. It's gonna be kind of hard to see, I think today, but that's okay. Some little storms popping up to ourselves too, not worried. Got something right there too, uh, to our east. Not too worried about that. I think this is the dominant thing right here. You can tell that this is completely unstable. There's no capping in the little la layers here. Just look how uh, rough that uh, lowering is. How uh, it looks like a cumulus cloud. That's just air being just lifted straight up. The storm is approaching the team's position. It's time to move south to stay ahead of the supercell. In New Mexico, the roads are few and far between, but this storm seems like it might track near a highway that runs north to south from Tucumcari to Clayton. Being around where we're at, so it's gonna be a lot harder to see what's going on, but I mean, this thing definitely can still do it, but I'm a little worried, uh, cause it does look like it's surging too, which looks like surging outflow, and that's not cool. That's not what we're after. So, but we'll see. Giving this another 15 seconds and we're packing up. This supercell is entering what storm chasers call beast mode. This storm not only appears very powerful, it also looks it. The team is dealing with challenging terrain to get a view of this growing cell. I can always count on New Mexico. Coming through in the clutch. Just doing a couple minutes here, then we're getting on the move again. This thing does look like it's growing into an MCS, but there's always a chance that you could spot something in the middle of all this. So I'm gonna stay in the middle part of this storm for just a little bit longer. Uh, sun does set in just over, uh, actually about two hours from now. The supercell has become extremely large and powerful. This is evidenced by inflow bands miles away from the storm streaming into the updraft. 
for storm chasers, this is a moment where differing strategies are going to show what is possible for the day. A more cautious approach will probably prevent you from seeing a tornado, but will enable a view of incredible structure. A more aggressive approach does not guarantee a view of a tornado, but may almost certainly guarantee significant hail damage to your vehicle. We're gonna drop south here. Um, I'm gonna try to go at least five more miles south into this clear air to my south, and then it's gonna be fine, but... And we're gonna probably get the camera out. It's gonna be a lot of fun! As the team repositions, storms are blowing up on the south flank of the supercell. This will almost certainly lead to the storm growing bigger and wetter, with a high precipitation mode now becoming likely. Worse, the storm appears to be wrapping up and producing a tornado. Without a clear visual, and with the storm behind the team, a costly mistake is made. The team continues to move south. Alright, now it's coming back into view finally. Getting a good view of it again. Storm chasers are looking into the heart of a monster supercell. It has already produced one tornado and is now a high precipitation beast of a storm with inflow winds of over 80 miles per hour blowing into the storm. This is making documenting the developing rain wrapped twister nearly impossible. And what you have behind me here is a tornado warned storm. Uh, these windfall winds are some of the strongest I've felt in years. Oh my gosh. Uh, winds are blowing into this thing about 50, 60 miles an hour. I mean, literal severe level wind gusts in the inflow. This is stupid. <laughs> yeah, this is like... Next level down. Sucks. <laughs> A rain wrapped tornado is likely ongoing within the precipitation wrapping around the low level mesocyclone. This storm is much closer than it appears. Time to move. Tornado is crossing the road behind us, but it's raining. The storm is now a monster high precipitation supercell that is becoming embedded in a line. With the core of the storm approaching with giant hail, the team opts to call the chase rather than pursue the storm into the night into Texas. There's a lot more storm chasing to come after all. All right. Well, that's a wrap on today. Car's right there, storm's back there. This outflow's hitting me. It's still, it's pretty cold. Pretty cold outflow winds. A uh, couple tornadoes today, rain wrapped, horrible. We couldn't see it. That storm did produce so. So hey, that counts, uh, but uh, you know, the beautiful tornado eludes us. Apparently not many people saw one the one tornado that you could see. So, with that said, um, yeah, it's time to head back to the house. We're going back to Albuquerque tonight. We're going to sleep in our own bed, and then we're going to turn it around and chase tomorrow. Eastern New Mexico, same place. Let's do it. Do it again.